Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 168th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. off in today's episode, I wanted to discuss jailbreaking, more specifically Rage Break. So following the recent release of Apple 7.0.4 firmware update, a developer by the name of Rage Master has pushed out an updated version of his Rage Break utility. Now for those of you who don't know, Rage Break is capable of jailbreaking iOS 7.0, 7.0.1, 7.0.2, 7.0.3, and 7.0.4 on the iPhone 4. And unfortunately, because the Vader's iOS 7 utility has yet to be released, the latest jailbreak is restricted to just the iPhone 4. And the primary reason for that is because Rage Break is based on WinOCM's Open Snow project, which utilizes GeoHot's old 2010 LimeRain exploit that's based off of a hardware vulnerability that Apple simply cannot patch without releasing new devices, which they've done since the release of the iPhone 4, and would function on other devices except for the fact that all A4-powered iOS devices have been phased out by Apple over time with the release of new firmwares. And now in iOS 7, the last one to remain is the iPhone 4. So again, Rage Break is nothing new. It uses a very old boot ROM exploit from again over three years ago. Moreover, the version of Cydia that Rage Break implements is an official. It's a modified version of Sarek Cydia for iOS 6 devices that again has been updated to support the iPhone 4 on all iOS 7 firmwares, including the latest release, iOS 7.0.4. So in light of that fact, it's not only a possibility, but it's almost a certainty that users who install Cydia and jailbreak with RageBreak will encounter errors when trying to download various packages and when trying to perform different tasks with their jailbroken iPhone. However, with all of that said, if you're an iPhone 4 owner and you wish to jailbreak, I did create two separate guides, one for OS X and one for Windows-based PCs. So if you're interested, just be sure to check out my in-depth video and written tutorials. I'll have links to them down below in the more info. And as for all other devices on iOS 7, the evaders have been working diligently around the clock to provide users with an untethered jailbreak. Now I just want to remind everybody that it took the evaders from the time Apple released iOS 6, which was in September, until February to push out an untethered jailbreak for the firmware and actually the only untethered jailbreak for iOS 6. And it's only been just over two months since iOS 7's release. And the evaders are definitely further along in development than they were last year at this point. So if you guys are at all interested in the jailbreak process, I'll link you to my latest jailbreak update video down below, which contains more details on the topic. And to wrap up this week's episode, I wanted to quickly discuss free app life. Now I'm not going to go too into depth, but for those of you who don't know, Free App Life is a service brought to you by myself, Marcus from Infinity, formerly Webland Installer, and Adrian from Jailbreak Nation and iPod Uplink. Essentially, it's geared towards users and it allows our users to download sponsored applications for points and then redeem those points for various prizes, including gift cards and application codes. Now, since the initial release of Free App Life, we've definitely encountered some issues. We've learned from those, we've updated the service, and we've launched a new tracking application for the service that increases the accuracy of sponsored applications and also the number of them. Them. Keep in mind though that we're working each day to improve the service and if you have any suggestions just be sure to let us know. And since last week I created two new videos on the topic, one giving a demonstration of setting it up and the new tracking application, and the other one I detailed my second generation iPad mini giveaway concluded my iPad Air giveaway and selected a random winner, in addition to announcing that we'll hold numerous giveaways in the future, and that we're going to be updating the service with new app codes for Cyber Monday. Again, we will have apps with awesome point discounts, so just be sure to check it out, especially if you want a chance to enter to win an iPad mini and you want numerous entries to do so. Finally, if you guys haven't seen my Xbox One or PS4 unboxing videos, I'll have links to them below. And of course, don't forget, I will keep you guys fully apprised of the jailbreak situation. I'll have news updates along the way and the first and most in-depth tutorials. So keep it locked to my channel. And if you guys want to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. And leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. What do you guys think about Rage Break? Are you excited about the upcoming untethered iOS 7 jailbreak? And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I post new videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me in one of your circles inside of Google+, and follow me on Instagram at ICUID. Links to everything below, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out.